there guys, it's Sophie. So today I'm filming outside for you. I'm not in fact insane. Um, my camera is fogging up like mad inside and I just can't deal with it. So I'm gonna film outside because it's cold enough that the camera's happy. Um, so <laughs> it's really someone out there who's screaming at me like, don't do that to your camera, but it's fine. There's no fog. So today's video is one that I've wanted to film for a little bit of time now, but haven't been quite sure how to approach it, haven't been quite sure how to put it together. But I think I'm just gonna go for it. Um, it's a, I'd rather just speak to you guys about it. So, the basic idea that I had was to ask someone who doesn't know me terribly well to recommend me five books. And they're going to be blind recommendations. They're going to be recommendations that I have no input in um, and that if there's one that I'm sort of a bit unsure about, I have to go and get it anyway. Uh, the only sort of caveat being that if I've already read the book, already owned the book, I don't need to buy a secondary copy. So I asked the guy that I'm seeing at the moment, um, we don't know each other all that well at the minute, but we're in that stage of getting to know one another. So I think it's you know, quite fun to sort of explore that and to explore his tastes and, and what sort of things he thought I might enjoy. So he kindly recommended me five books to try out. Um, all I'm going to do in this video is just to run through them for you and a sort of slight synopsis of the books. I've actually completed three of them already and uh, one I'm yet to buy, um, but I will do a full wrap up on them once I finish them and a little bit of chatting through what my thoughts were on the entire process and experience. So the very first one that was recommended to me was Kitchen by Banana Yoshimoto. Uh, this is a book, um, a piece of translated fiction from Japanese about sort of love, grief, loss, um, kitchens, transsexuality and family, motherhood and fatherhood. Um, never read anything by the author before, never heard of this book before and was really interested to see this one. Also I think the book itself is a really cute little edition, um, fans one of Waterstones I think. And then the next one was a book called Longitude by Davis Sabell. This is one that I certainly wouldn't have picked up on my own. Um, I don't read an awful lot of non-fiction, I, I, I mean I read true crime non-fiction and I read a little bit about mental health, I read a little bit about psychology but I don't read an awful lot of this kind of non-fiction or sort of military history really either. Um, so this is a book about a man who, well really about a man who's trying to determine the question of longitude um, which was a big sort of area at the time um, that was sort of very valuable for sailors and for expeditions um, because it helps you navigate around the world if you don't really know exactly where you are it's quite difficult to know exactly where you're, you should go next um, and whether or not you're safe to go anywhere so this is one that I, I you know I wouldn't have had any interest in previously um, and we'll talk a bit more of my thoughts about it in the wrap-up and then the next one I was recommended was The Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway I hate this edition um, and I tried really hard to find a nice one and thought I'd managed it and they sent me this one and the ISBN is different but I don't want to fight with them um, but yeah so Ernest Hemingway um, I'd never read any Hemingway before um, and, and the guy I'm seeing really likes Hemingway. So this was quite an interesting one to read and um, sort of see my way through. Again, I'm not going to talk too much about thoughts on them, but just as a bit of a premise, it is a story told about a, an elderly man who is going out for this great catch of this, of this marlin and about his sort of voyage uh, to, to get this fish. Um, and it, lots of other sort of aspects are woven in also, um, but that's the sort of main story arc. And then the next one I was recommended was The Sense of an Ending by Julian Barnes. I've yet to touch this one, um, and I actually don't know anything about it. I have made myself not read the back cover, I've not looked into it at all. Um, I have a vague sense that it's, it's sort of set in a university or a school, but beyond that I don't know anything about it. I'm really excited to get to this one. Um, I don't really know why, but this feels like the one I'm going to like the most, despite knowing nothing about it. I don't know, maybe weird cover feelings. Um, but, so I think I'm actually going to read this one last. Uh, so we'll see how this one goes and I, I'm sure I'll tell you more when I do wrap them all up. And then as I said, the last one I don't actually own and that is Atonement by Ian McEwan. Um, I recently read Ian McEwan. What one was it? I can't remember. I recently read one um, and did actually really enjoy it. Um, I thought the style was really interesting. So looking forward to that one also, but just haven't found a copy that I really like yet. I think the reality is I probably will just buy one that I don't think is all that nice um, and sort of get to the content and not be so shallow but I do love having pretty books on my shelf. So that's the outline of this challenge that I've, I've sort of set um, and the outline of this this sort of odd idea of, of getting to know people through books. I think it's been great fun so far obviously I've not I've not finished all the books yet um, 
I would really recommend it if there is someone that, that you know that maybe you're not too close with maybe it's um, I don't know a relative that you know has reads a lot but that you, you don't really connect with their reading taste it might be quite interesting to just explore that or again if it is someone you're getting to know you know a friend or a romantic relationship I think it's great fun too just just to pass those things back and forth I, I found particularly the aspect of it being blind was really helpful and the aspect of uh, my not being able to research or look up or have preconceived notions of the books before I headed in, which is actually really rare for me because ordinarily if you buy yourself a book you, you have quite a good awareness of what you're letting yourself in for. You think you're going to enjoy it before you read it um, and disappointment or, or joy can sort of come from that. But to have something that's purely based on someone else's recommendation and not on your own thoughts at all was a really interesting experience or is a really interesting experience that I'm going through at the moment. So I will update you on that further when I complete all five of the books um, but I'm, I'll see you for other videos in the meantime. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.